And we begin this morning with breaking news. SWAT members are at a Pinellas Park home after a shooting early this morning. It's happening right now on North 67th Street and 78th Avenue. News Channel 8's Jana Jones is there. And Jana, what can you tell us? Bring us up to speed. Good morning to you both. Where we are right now is not actually where the shooting happened. We understand that this is where that suspect fled to after the shooting. Let me go ahead and step out of your way and show you what we are looking at. Right now, we are on 67th Street and 78th Avenue. We understand that shooting happened at a business parking lot on 66th Street North. So far this morning, we've been here for several hours. We've seen the crisis negotiation team, a dozen or more police officers, again, the SWAT team. Uh, we've been told that we have very limited information this morning, although such a busy scene. And we spoke with one neighbor who says that he heard all of the commotion. And I want to make it very clear that this information has not been confirmed from the Pinellas Park Police Department. This is what the neighbor says that he experienced a few hours ago this morning. And I heard a lot of screaming, put the gun down, put the gun down. My neighbor across the street came out and said, there's a man across the street has a gun. I called the police. I came out, I walked around the corner on 80th Avenue, and there were several policemen with their guns out pointing at a man standing in the doorway. We came to find out that he had shot his wife four times and had come back and was in his house, and they were trying to get him to come out. And within two minutes, all of Pinellas County, uh, Pinellas Park Police Department was here, and the SWAT team came, the negotiation team came. Again, back here live in Pinellas Park, you can see this is quite the commotion where we are right now when we are standing by for an update from the PIO. And of course, whenever we get any new information here, we're going to update you on air and online. But I can tell you this has disrupted a lot of people's lives this morning as far as parents trying to get their kids to school. Earlier, we saw a mother in tears come up to this gentleman behind me saying that she had a sick baby and she just wanted to go back to her house, but she was not allowed to. So a lot of commotion going on here here and still very limited details, but we're going to check in with you guys in about 30 minutes from now and hopefully we have something new then. For now, we're live in Pinellas Park, Jana Jones, News Channel 8.